Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the file system error 805-305-975 on Windows 11 and how to do it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run system scans. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but copy and paste each command and press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reset the app where the error is triggered. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply click on the settings icon. Now make sure to click on apps on the left pane, and then on the right side, click on the installed apps category. Now make sure to locate the app that is problematic, that causes the error, then click on the ellipsis next to it and select the advanced options. Now scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by clicking on the repair button. In this case, the app's data won't be affected at all, but if this doesn't work properly and you still get the error, click on the reset button. In this case, the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Afterwards, you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update your PC. To do this, press the Windows button and select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on Windows Update on the left pane, and then on the right side, click on the Check for Updates button. Windows will now scan for any available updates, and if it finds any, you have to download and install them automatically. Then you can restart your computer after the process is finished and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to run a check disk utility. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. In here, make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below, then press on enter, then restart your computer. Windows will now check for any errors and fix them as soon as possible. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.